welcome to We Don't Have Cookies, Martial Law Edition with your host, Jason Marshall. Hey, everybody. Thanks for downloading the show and welcome to the podcast comedic courtroom, Martial Law, where I take a dispute between two people, let them say what they have to say and make a ruling on who is right and the person who is wrong will be punished. Today's plaintiffs come from Canada and have a podcast called the Wood Enthusiast Podcast. They've brought Choo Choo Stew, the host of the podcast factor here, all the way from London, England, because of something he said on the podcast. So without further ado, let's get to it. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Unless, of course, you can think of something fun here. I will. I, I, I do. do. I agree. Oh, I, do. I do. I agree. Your Honor, the parties have been sworn in. Gallery, you may be seated. This is the case of the Wood Enthusiasts represented today by Larry Woodstone and Gary Gilbert versus Gilbert <laughs> versus Choo Choo Stew. And Stu was a guest a few months ago on this podcast. And while we were discussing the Wood Enthusiasts, Stu said that he was more of a plastics guy, which seems to have started a whole thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We've got Glenn joining us. Mr. Oh Clark, are you kidding me? Come on. I thought it was just Larry and I. Hey, guys. Hopefully uh, you don't mind me joining. Heard you guys uh, were hanging out. I thought, hey, I like hanging out. And Hey, Mr. Clutterbuck. Mr. Hey, Clutterbuck, Larry? you can't talk as much as you usually do here. Marshall, he well, didn't say I do. He's, he shouldn't be in. Yeah, we need to get you sworn in real quick. Are you ready? Okay. Mr. Marshall. Oh, okay. Swearing in for what? Well, <laughs> for the uh, court proceedings. Okay. Choo Choo Stu did it. Choo Choo Stu did it. Oh, I did it. Okay. Well, Choo Choo Stu did it. I mean, that's enough for me. So, Mr. Clutterbox, would you just say I do and just let's move on? Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth? Dear I, heaven. I do. Larry, this is what I deal with. I hate this. <laughs> I'm you know what, Gary? You know what, Gary? Okay, I'm I'm getting I'm getting a little frustrated. That, this isn't uh, a Clutterbuck show. Stop. That, we have to accept that as an I do because he just won't stop. That's the thing, with Mr. Clutterbuck. <laughs> I, I think he thought that might be some kind of a trick. Uh, this feels like a three-on-one against Choo Choo Stew. <laughs> Bring it on. The more, the better. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. that's inappropriate. <laughs> So now that I've set up why we are here, Larry, please, well, either one of the three of you, tell me why you've decided to bring Choo Choo Stew on. What are you guys looking for? And uh, what do you think should be done if I rule in your favor? Well, you know, I'm going to speak. I I do a lot of the speaking on behalf of the the Wood Enthusiast community. And I, I called the guys not too long ago and I said, we need to make a response because as much as we've really appreciated Mr. Chuchu Stew and some of his uh, terrific endorsements and, and lots of his back and forths, uh, he made a really ignorant statement and a statement that actually hurt me and hurt Gary deeply. And I think Glenn was Glenn was affected for a few days. And I, yeah. you know, I've, I've been struggling with this because Chuchu Stew, in a conversation with you, Mr. Marshall, and actually you actually allowed this. So a, a little <laughs> a little bit of the weight goes on you as well because you you kind of push him into it is what I believe. But Mr. Chuchu Stew actually went ahead and he said that he's a bit of a plastics man. And then the two of you had a bit of a laugh. And still, when you kind of, kind of when I go back and I kind of go back and I think about it, um, Gary's furious. I can see him right now. He's furious. He's just pissed right off. His, his cheeks are, you know, he's got high blood pressure and his cheeks are red. And I say, when he does this, you need to back off and just slow down, Gary, because you're going to explode. And sometimes he passes out. And, and Mr. Clutterbuck's. He just gets so fired up that I don't even know how to handle him because he's already all, all, all talking about nonsense all the time. That's a so fact. Mr. So Choo Choo Stew says he's a plastics man and hangs up like it's no big deal. That's the end of the story. <laughs> and, uh, and believe me here, Jason, I'll say right now, that's not the end of the story. That's not the end of the story. I would like to hear from uh, Glenn and Gary on how this affected them as well. Well, I'll speak. Well, go ahead then, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert. <laughs> Well, I appreciate Stu for all the for all the excitement that he brought to the table. And then he turns his back on the natural resource. Plastics were created by man putting chemicals together. Trash. Uh, trash, garbage. And and if you inhale that smoke, you can be brain damaged. Rubbish. But wood has been around since 
since ever. And if you inhale anything from that, it's, it's not only wonderful, it's helpful. So it was more of a wood service announcement to him out of concern as, as someone who, who, who thinks that he thought wood was maybe too, not, not a great substance. It was an ignorant statement is what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And it got me a little angry. Okay. And I, frankly, I'm frustrated to see him shrug his shoulders. Frankly, I'm looking at him right in the face and he's shrugging his shoulders like it doesn't even matter. But I don't think that's a fair statement. Stu, we're reaching out to you. Yeah, Stu, I would like to see how you respond to uh, what you've heard today. When I said I'm a plastics man, it was just an off-the-cuff, throwaway remark, really. It was a hurtful one. But saying that, it was a true statement. We live in 2018, and plastic is a part of everyone's life. And as much as wood smells nice, plastic can smell nice as well. Nope. Have you? That's not. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. No. You nope. have you? We, we just hold. Let's hold the boat here. Uh, Choo Choo Stew. Have you ever burnt plastic? It smells like the dying side of a raccoon's butthole. There's nothing good about that. I think he likes the song Barbie Girl. <laughs> no. Uh, Choo Choo Stew. Can we confirm that you do in fact appreciate Barbie Girl? Barbie. <sighs> The song. Oh, I like the song. Yeah, it's a lovely, it's a classic. Okay. You know, and I'm all about kind of joining people together. I, I'm really into friendship and Choo Choo Stew. You know that as much as I, I love you, I love your name because I love trains as much yeah. as I love wood. And so, you know, maybe, well, not, maybe not quite as much. But as much as you know. love wood. See, that's, that's exactly our point, Mr. Clutterbuck. Well, well, I loved, I love trains, trains as well. I have wooden tracks. I mean, a diehard fan just this week actually sent us a very interesting video on the interweb um, about how train tracks are made uh, from wood. And hey, Mr. Clutterbucks, why don't you stop with some of the nonsense? Creepers, creepers. What Mr. Buttercup just said, I watched <laughs> that video. <laughs> I did watch that video as well. And uh, railway sleepers have actually, the wooden railway sleepers are now in people's gardens and uh, yeah. for, for sale on on craigslist because they've actually been made redundant and because they're glorious is why that's because they're glorious and people nobody puts garbage in their in their gardens mr choo choo stew they put um, things that are beautiful in there mr choo choo stew railway yeah, sleepers are now made out of concrete anyone putting plastic logs in their garden that's no true. that's a, that, that's true that's railways, true railway sleepers are now made out of concrete that have been infused with plastic and generally wrapped in plastic as well so that's just deception and lies it's what you're talking right now, Mr. Chuchu Stew. It's deception and lies, and that's not true. There's exactly. natural components to it. There's steel rails, and there's wooden ties, and there's nothing else. Plastic lumber is the way forward, I'm afraid. Columba? I don't even know what Columba is. No, plastic, plastic lumber. Sorry, I think this to... is a cultural difference. I think you'll have to excuse my accents, but um, if you can just try and understand what I'm trying to say. but plastic... I'll excuse a few things, but what I'm not excused is you saying that plastic smells nice, because that's inappropriate. Larry, I think this is a cultural difference. Right. Our anthem states that we are we love wood. Oh, Canada, where pines and maple grow. They do. See? They do. And let them grow and stop cutting them down to make stuff and sniff it. But plastic lumber is the way forward. Plastic says lumber. Who? Says the uh, British Plastic Foundation. That's the problem. Well, they're going to they're gonna burn and rot in a heaping pile of raccoon turds because that's nonsense. And I'll tell you this, Mr. Choo Choo Stew, just a minute, Mr. Clutterbucks, why don't you cut up a piece of plastic and plant it in the ground and tell me what grows? Because I'll tell you this, every single, tree, every single tree that I've ever made plants itself, and it regenerates itself with saplings. And but you don't ever see a plastic wood. sapling. If you bury a piece of wood, if you dig it up in 10 years' time, it'd be gone. The plastic would still be there. The well, plastic would still be I there. Think with a, I think with enough water, anything is possible. But honestly, Not, I don't know. I don't know Mr. How, Clutterbucks. I don't know. Has ever gotten this hot picante before? He's he's really he's really. Oh, this is ridiculous! You can't plant plastic. You can't even grow it from its own good earth. I'll tell you um, right now, a tree germinates itself. I don't in ten know years, any... it'll grow itself a tree and a baby. I don't this know. If any, I don't know if any of you work in a sawmill or maybe you're carpenters, but sawmills in ten years' time they will just be a thing of the past, and carpenters will be this, known. Don't you uh, easy? Car carpenters will retrain and be known. As plastic ears, not ears. That's from the mouth of the devil. A plastic right ear. Right now, you're you're speaking from the mouth of the devil because that's not true. 
And I don't appreciate you saying maybe you guys are carpenters because I'm not going to be a wood enthusiast unless I am a carpenter. And for you to come after me and say that it's not, it's going to be non-existent is ridiculous. I am you need enth- to watch the movie The Lorax. I am enthusiastic about wood. I oh, am my goodness. That, that doesn't appear to be true in any, se- in any sentence of the word. This is ridiculous. That's what I'm, I think. I'm enthusiastic about vinyl. Yeah. But I prefer digital downloads these days. Hey, Mr. Gilbert, this guy sounds like a pervert is what he sounds like. Absolutely. Does the queen like wood? Well, she's had a few children. Do you think she's listening? Do you think Mrs. Miss Elizabeth is listening? Though so their beds are probably made of wood is what you're saying. So therefore, she loves wood. The queen goes to bed at 8 p.m. It's now. Do you think she's late. having a bit of a listen? Do you think she'll listen tomorrow? Are you guys friends? Mr. Chuchu <laughs> Stu, do you know the queen? I don't, I'm not sure how this works. Well, I do know her. I have worked for her a couple of times. Um, is it true that her real name is Jennifer? Is that true? I've heard some of these rumors. No, that was that, is, that was a vicious rumor. It's a no. vicious rumor. It's been swirling. It's been it's been swirling all over the United States of America. It's kind, of, it's kind of shooting up to the can- Canadian to the north. <laughs> do they still reign over Canada? They do. That, it's, exactly, they do. Uh, we support them for all they do. We send millions of dollars to them because of all they do for Canada. They 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 come over here and look around. So we we pay yeah. millions for that. We're God we're bless super the queen. Thank you. Do, do you know what the uh, favorite tree of the queen is? I believe it's the mighty oak. The mighty oak. Well, I was understanding it's the Canadian maple. That's what the Jennifer British said. Right? Uh, that's what they say when they go over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, are you saying that they they double speak? They double speak. I bet you that the Queen's throne does not have a piece of plastic in it, and I I would put my life on that. And that's <laughs> that's a lot no. of life. There's a no. lot of life there. I know. I think it's made out of aluminium. Or oh, that's disgusting. Alumi- aluminum, as you might call it. No, you know, my actually, my brother-in-law's from Ireland, and he says aluminum, and I, I really appreciate that because it's a natural resource, and I respect it. I highly respect natural resources, unlike plastic, which is pure trash from the devil's mouth. Rumor has it, tr- you, rumor has it, all plastic comes from the devil's butthole. So you answer that, <laughs> Mr. Choo Choo Stu. What have do you have to say to that? Have you got any Irish in you? Because you look a little bit Irish. Well, I've got more Spanish in me right now, and I'm getting hopicante over this stupid nonsense. I thought I was Uh-oh. coming on this show to talk about the glorious produ- production of wood. And here you're oh, talking about all this stupid nonsense. Canada, I want you know, to know. You know listen, it's Saturday night, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Buttercup but he's sitting in his car. He's out in the woods somewhere. And I've just noticed he's got a little young lady next to him. Yes, oh. I do. Oh, is Lucille there? Lucille is here. And, and uh, just. See, we were actually by a marsh earlier, and uh, and and uh, I was really enthused because I was pointing out to Lucille here that uh, the trees were doing phenomenally well because of how how wet they were. And oh, would you said, stop it? No, they look kind of dead, and I said, no, they're just hibernating. But uh, Lucille was getting a little bit infuriated right now because uh, Larry was bringing up the devil's butthole, and Lucille is very, very anti-devil. She's probably out there hunting Satanists is what she's doing. That's right. Well, that's, I think that's exactly what she's doing. So maybe we should just get the limelight on her right there. There she is. There and, she is. Uh, Hi, Lucille. She's out there hunting Satanists. And people, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll tell you, Lucille, you have a look at Choo Choo Stew, and I don't want to say anything bad about him because this is this is this is on the this is on the world the world to listen. But I'm telling you right now, he's the guy that's putting all his money on plastics, and you know that comes from the devil's butthole. So you got to really yeah. double think if this guy's you know worth the time because I'm I'm really getting concerned at this point. I've never heard of the devil's butthole. Well, when you go to those adult stores, they're all plastic. It's all I've plastic. Of, I don't see any wood in there. I've heard of the, heard of the devil's doorbell. Well, that, I, that's that's, on, that's on the front of the house. Choo choo I'm trying to tell you science, and if you're not going to pay attention, then I'm not going to sit around here. Hey, hey, science, uh, science will tell you the plastic comes straight into the butthole of the devil, and that's true. That's not that's this isn't fabrication. I'm not going to yeah. sit around here spewing lies. No, you, know, uh, you know what I think would be really helpful? Maybe I can speak a little bit of English talk to Choo Choo Stu here. I, my family's from England, and so maybe I can communicate with him on a different level here. He's ignorant. Choo Choo Stu, are you, are you a supporter of, uh, of football? Football, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. Your, what's your team? What's your team? Uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. This has right. nothing to do with wood, and this is ridiculous. That's right, that's right. So Tottenham Hotspur, okay, so they play tomorrow. So Harry Kane, right, he's coming up. He yeah, Harry, ball. Harry Kane yeah. goes to my kids, or well, went to my children's school one mile Harry away what? from here. Well, Harry you. what? Harry Kane, right? Yeah. He hits He's, the ball. Hits, he lives he, where I live. He hits the post, and what does the commentator say? Uh, oh, right off the woodwork. 
Right. As he kicked the ball off the Astro turf. That's inappropriate. That's yep. It's all natural, actually. But mm. off, off the woodwork. No Mr. Clutterbuck, you're hurting our case. I'm trying to help. Well, you know what? If you want to help, you should go water some trees. Some full-grown adult trees. Oh, that's what I'll be spending my evening doing. I got a whole evening set out. Uh, I'm actually decided not to sleep tonight. I'm just heading out to the forest, going to get some early watering in. I got about uh, six or seven hours worth of hiking and watering to do. So, yeah, I'm just getting home right now. and then. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense. Hey, is your dad there? Tell your dad, dad to around? give us an email back is what I want. To, is what I want. Why? What do you email in, uh, my dad about? It doesn't matter, Mr. Clutterbox. I'm just a little fired up of all this plastic nonsense. And if Jason's not going to stand in and say, "Hey, enough is enough," choo-choo's too, then I'm not. Then I'm. Sh- I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go over there and get really angry to his face. And that's going to cost me a lot of money on ticket money. And frankly, Mr. Clutterbox, your dad's going to have to pay the bill. What I do need to say to you guys: think about the social benefits of plastic. <laughs> There's no social benefits of plastic. <laughs> you brought the devil into this, and I'm playing sort of devil's advocate because. There are social benefits of plastic. Um, saving water, for a start, plastic saves water. I'm listening. We don't need tree hydration. I'm not listening. I'm a gardener, and I have what we call here in the UK an allotment. And recently, I have invested to save water. I have invested, and I've got an example here. Your allotment sounds really terrific. It sounds like a really nice place. I've invested in a plastic uh, covering for that's, that's parts cool. of my allotment and i have got uh about 30 square feet of this and none of that's real that, none no, of that's real i'm looking no, at a plastic it, square of garbage it doesn't you can't need water in. maybe the plants just absolutely hate living in there ever think of that i know you don't get any bugs in it there's no birds that are going to be in it well yeah, that's two negatives the right there that's two negatives yeah tell me why what's so wrong with bugs and birds mr choo choo stew birds eat bugs not in my backyard birds not in my backyard well, that's where the Lord put them. So you're either going to buy from the devil's butthole or destroy what the Lord put in your backyard. So you have to make a decision. Now, I know you guys are kind of a, a bit of a liberal society over there, but I'm not appreciative of all this nonsense. And I've told you this many times. I've been doing this for years and 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 years. And I never heard anybody just like wood so much, even though you say you're a wood enthusiast. And it's really I, starting to get me hot Conte. I am an enthusiast, but I'm also a realist. So I'm saving water by not watering my plants. And I can wow. concentrate on on leafless fruit. That's really frustrating for me. You're not watering them. That's I don't I don't understand. I don't, that's uh, not even computing. Eighty percent of plants are leaves, stems. It's all wasted. So do you eat plastic fruit? Do you eat plastic fruit, Mister Choo Choo Stew? Because fruit comes off trees. So do have you eat plastic fruit? It, have you given it a leaf lick? The leaves are. Larry. I've never licked my leaves. Leaves leaves are going to be out of fashion soon. It's just going to be you're going to grow a tomato well, plant. Oh. Mr. Where Gilbert, get, this is ridiculous. Where are we going to get oxygen from? We can get that in plastic containers and Stu, spray it. I got to ask you one question. I'm about to go to my chambers and uh, think about what you guys have said. Before, you better make the right decision. Before, this is ridiculous. Before I go, Stu, I have to know, have you ever rubbed fresh on any kind of a plastic? Great question. Great well, question. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, listen to the pause here. Listen to the pause. That's convenient. <laughs> He's making up a think storm is what he's doing. I, ca- I cannot recall any time where I've well, there- fresh. Well, I'm going to go to my chambers. I'm going to consider what both sides have presented, and I'll return with my ruling. I just, I just want to say I really your, your clock in the background. It's a really nice clock. Thank I really you. like your clock there. So if that helps. This court is in recess. You may step out. My baby came at me with a two by four So I fought her off with sandpaper It was 60 grit, it was really rough And it made a lot of sawdust But we patched things up with love and glue We went to the church and said I do Our honeymoon was at a hardware store Our love's a lot like particle board Particle board ain't got no grain Unless you paint it with a dark wood stain Particle board, it doesn't take no brace to that I love's a lot like particle board. Well, I heard the train come rolling by with cattle on board, so we decided we would drop everything off that train, take a one way trip to the slaughterhouse. Well, we stared at the cattle as they took the walk to meet. 
son She worried about getting splinters in her butt I said don't think about the problems when we rot The deck's made of particle ball Or a hot or an ottoman You could leave it like it is Paint it up It's still gonna be made of particle board Particle board, it's useful stuff It's stronger than glue It's better than fluff It sounds like a simile and that's enough To say that I love a lot like particle board Are you enjoying the show, but you haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? The podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Sirius XM, Spoke, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox, and literally anywhere podcasts are available, including YouTube, Roku, and as a skill on Amazon's Alexa-enabled devices. The rest of the year is already booked, and it's going to be great. Subscribe now so you don't miss an episode. All rise. Court is back in session. I would like to remind the parties that you are still under oath. All right, guys. I've been thinking about what all of you have said, and I have to find in favor of the wood enthusiasts. You guys have really, really brought up some good points. What really pushed it over the edge, though, was seeing how much one person's words have affected multiple people. Also, I I have to say that this is Stu's third conviction. Which wow, is fitting because good. there's three of oh, you here. You know, there's no surprise there. There's no surprise. He makes a lot of stupid statements. I like this guy a lot. I'm going to tell you that straight to your face, Jason. I like this guy a lot. But he's been making some really ridiculous statements. And they and I'm going to be honest. I'm not a person to say this, but these statements are hurting my feelings. Because yeah, they this, are. I can see it. Because this is your third conviction, Stu. I, I can't go light on you anymore. I think what we're going to have to do is make this a month-long punishment. What we will do is one member of the Wood Enthusiast will give you some kind of a community service. You will make a video of you doing the community service because I'm not sure if we can just take your word for it. No. So Is this after the appeal? Or... There's no appeal process. There is no appeal. Okay. okay. I think the Queen's made her decision. No offense, Jason, but yeah. and I think she sides with Mr. Marshall. The thing is, I need to add this, there is only three Wood Enthusiasts. And there's usually four weeks in a month, so that leaves one week open, and I think that last week should be Stu singing the chorus to Barbie Girl. Oh, I like that. I'd support that. I think you should do a video of him watering, I don't know, I would say at least at least five trees pretty well. So and five trees a and a Barbie Girl. You know, clutterbucking a little bit. Oh, th- Glenn, would you just stop at the clutterbucking? This is ridiculous. This is a wooden thing. He has a nice walnut in his. This is a wooden enthusiast operation. Here's the nice. To see some video proof of it. I like walnuts. (laughs) And on that note, court is adjourned. Parties are excused. You may step out. All right, wood enthusiast. How do you feel about the verdict, and do you think it was fair? You know, I'm going to speak on behalf of the wood enthusiast community. And now that I've kind of let my salsa boil down to a medium, maybe a mild. I just wanted to say I'm satisfied because a lot, a lot needs to be learned. And I think Choo Choo can come a long way. I think we need to give him some time to process it and maybe have him look into the world of the wood and say, this is better than what I thought. And plastics are pure trash and pure garbage straight from the devil's butthole. And maybe when he finally realizes that, then he'll know exactly what he's landed. And that's onto a nice hard piece of oak. That's what I want to say. All right, Stu, what about you? How do, how do you feel about the verdict? I, felt, I did think it could have gone either way. I um, think a little bit of bias there. Four hours away from you, the practical neighbours, you've been inviting them to something when we was off air. 
some kind of part. You're invited too, Mr. Choo Choo Stew. Don't make just because you're too poor to afford to fly across the country <laughs> twice. <laughs> it's inappropriate to say that. Knowing that I had to work in February, um, I just think it's all a bit of a, it's all a bit of a farce, really. It's all a bit of a sort of a, I don't know. It's a bit of a plastic outcome. You know what I think we should. I think you know what I think we should do. Just like all the English always do with the criminals, is send a choo 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 stew to Australia. He should have to go to Australia and be outcast. Like well, he's did. probably a Satanist, so they wouldn't take him there either. If you pay the flight, I'll definitely go. Can I have uh, three weeks in July, please? <laughs> and speaking of Australia, next week, all the guests will be from Australia. You don't want to miss that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I just wanted to get a cheap plug in for my show. That's a wonderful segue. <laughs> that was a wonderful segue. Thank you. It's, it's like you set me up for it. It was, it was very kind of you. I didn't, I honestly didn't even know. So that was, that was Mr. Clutterbox. Would you stop? You always I'm ramble. Trying to make friends here, Larry. Let me make You've got friends. enough friends. Stop rambling. I'm Friends. I need Hang friends. up your phone, Mr. Clutterbox. Ridiculous. I You're not going to be on the next friends. podcast you if so you can't shut friends. your mouth. I think you need to be a bit more lenient with him and, uh, you know, be a bit more friendly. He's trying to help. He's watering trees. He was watering yeah. full-grown adult trees, Mr. Choo Choo Stew. None of this makes any sense to me in the first place. I think the family's got a lot of money. You didn't say that when we signed that big check over to the wood enthusiast. Uh, I, you know what I did say? I said thank you, and let's go water, water some stupid trees. Yeah, you were a little more enthusiastic. Jason but, Marshall, uh, thank you so much for having us. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thanks for being on. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to be here, and I'm glad we were able to get this solved for you. Yeah, thanks for letting us win. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it really wasn't a question coming into this, but uh, <laughs> thanks for thanks for making things right, you know. That's what's needed. Now that it's all over and there is no appeal process, I did kind of feel guilty for laughing about what Stu said. So that might have had something to do with that. A lot of what he says is inappropriate. And I hope he turns himself around. I am going to try and turn my life around and I'm going back to wood. Oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> I'm going back to wood. Conversion. I can feel it. Right before our eyes. Yeah. Wow. This is the justice system I want to well, thanks for turning yourselves over. I'm gonna have to go because my children, my children are crying, and I've just gotta hit the road here. So, well, you have no a problem. good night. I appreciate you being on, Mr. Clutterbox. Hang up. Oh, am I supposed to go now? I just See really enjoy having friends. Oh, <laughs> right. everyone's gone. Okay. I've got Facebook friends. All of them are better than my real life friends, cause they never bother me with telephone calls. Invite me out or knock up. Upon my door, my Facebook friends. Sometimes they message and they ask about me, and I don't know just what to say, how to respond, but I can take my time. If you like my status update, come to my event. Justify my own existence, maybe you can be my Facebook friend. My Facebook friend. My Facebook, my friends. Facebook friends seem to my lead Facebook interesting friends. lives That can be my encapsulated Facebook by a quote A newspaper clipping and a photo taken with a phone My, my Facebook, Facebook friends, I never know my how many Facebook of them that I have And who my is Facebook reading friends. what I say Looking at my images and who has blocked me out But if you like my status update, come to my event Find your spot upon my timeline Maybe you can be my Facebook friend My Facebook friends Won't tell me if they move to Google Plus I don't know if they're Twittering or Tweetering or Twattering Or if they even talk My Facebook friends I'm not sure they're getting out a lot Or even if they have a window shoes and socks Or a door that leads them anywhere My Facebook friends have found me even though I moved away I'm starting to notice that as I interact with them I know why I laugh But if you like my status update, come to my event Upon my yearbook photos, maybe you can be my Facebook friend. My Facebook friends, 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 my
Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, the world's most dangerous man. You're listening to We Don't Have Cookies. Want to contact the show? Send an email to jason at wedonthavecookies.com or call 929-266-9342 and leave a voicemail. I want to thank Choo Choo Stew, Larry Woodstone, Gary Gilbert III, and Glenn Clutterbuck for being on the podcast. Special thanks to UFC Hall of Famer Dan the Beast Severn for being my bailiff today. I also want to say thanks to Trevor Strong and the Arrogant Worms for letting me play their music. If you liked today's episode but haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because the Wood Enthusiast and Trevor Strong will be on next month for a special Canadian Thanksgiving episode that you don't want to miss. For long-time listeners, I have some extremely exciting news. A guest that I've been trying to get on the podcast for years has agreed to be on the show and will be on the Canadian Thanksgiving episode. It's the one and only independent weatherman, Frankie McDonald. I was so excited when he agreed to do the show. I hope you are too. I've been waiting a long time to talk to him. I may have spoken too soon earlier when I said next week would be all Australian guests. One of the people that I want to have on that episode is Matt O'Kine. He's a great comedian, actor, and musician. He's agreed to do it, but I have to wait a couple of weeks for his schedule to clear up. And trust me, he is worth the wait. In the meantime, you can catch his TV show on Hulu called The Other Guy. It's really funny, and it'll give you an idea what to expect from him. So next week's episode may be a little late, but I'll do my best to have it out on Monday. I hope you've all had a great time. If you did, please tell your friends and get them into the show. I'd really appreciate it. But that's it for this episode. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening. Tell your friends about the show and leave a review. See you next time. All plastic comes from the devil's butthole.